Now suppose that I would like to send a detachable license to some of uh, my customer uh, and in order to do so first thing I will ask him uh, to install the, the driver, the Hasp driver Hasp runtime and with uh, using the admin control center I would ask uh, this customer to go to diagnostics and create ID file. Let's do it and then I will explain what does it mean. Let's put it in the desktop. Very good. Now this created uh, file is with ID. We can open it with uh, let's say a notepad plus plus or something else. And what I can see here is the name of the machine. This is my machine. This is the machine of the customer that I'm going to send to him the license. And the most important thing that I see here is a fingerprint. This fingerprint represents the exact uh, components, hardware components on this uh, customer's machine. And obviously, this is uh, done in order to make sure that the license that I will send to him will work only on this specific machine and uh, will not work any other place. So uh, this customer has sent to me this ID. Now I'm uh, as the, the person who is in charge of the detachable licenses I have to take this ID and uh, add the, it into the list of what are the machines that my admin control center uh, detaching licenses uh, will know. So in order to do so, I will just update it. Here you can see that also ID file can be uh, applied over here. I will just use uh, this uh, ID and apply it. Okay, successfully. And now uh, let's uh, create uh, a license for this uh, customer who provided me this ID. So what we would do, uh, I will go to the products and here is the detachable license. I will detach and over here I will choose uh, the, the license that was provided to me. Uh, let's see which one was this. Uh, if I don't recall I can obviously go back and see in the ID uh, with uh, any editor I'll see uh, the name of the machine. It's uh, TLV. Okay, noticed it. So I will look for it over here. If I have it, TLV, here it is. So this is the one. And suppose that I would like to have it a week time. So let's say until um, the 10th. So I detach it. By detaching, I create. Uh, a file h2r and now this h2r I will send it to the customer so he can uh, apply it on his machine now again this this are text file I can open them with uh, some notepad I can see that the target is this machine the machine of uh, the customer uh, I can see that the license uh, uh, is uh, to be uh, updated with the product named detachable one and here of course there are several things everything here is encrypted so no one can abuse it uh, so the customer will get this H2R and using the admin control center he will go on his machine and uh, apply it and this is successfully. Uh, let's see whether he has a new license. And yes, here we can see that he, uh, this customer has a new license. It's an SL typed. It is attached to his machine. The product that it contains is a detachable one uh, with the feature uh, 42. Uh, when we were in the product, uh, let's get back to the uh, products over here, I see that uh, the, the customer can also cancel his license if he would like to return it back uh, and not use it um, until the expiration date, 
he might cancel the license. Uh, if I would like to get some information about uh, about uh, this uh, detachable license, how long it will take uh, to have it uh, to have it uh, uh, used, so I can see when using the cancel, I can have uh, details about what is the expiration date, and over here uh, have the cancel or keep it. Thank you for watching.